Star Wars. Marvel. Mecca. And more. This is Star Wars Phantom B. Hello guys and welcome back to our NECA Power Story Caribbean uh, figure review and for this Power Story Caribbean figure review we're going to take a look at the Power Story Caribbean at Worlds and South Fang and this is the most common Power Story Caribbean figure from the NECA line that you can find uh, it's really easy to find it's not expensive at all and uh, I don't know why it's so easy to find but I always come across this one but I never picked it up until now because I had you know I needed it to complete my collection and uh, as of now, my collection is almost complete. I am only three figures away of completing the entire collection. So that's great. Um, but he was one that I had to pick up to complete my collection. And in the end, I'm really happy that I picked it up because it's a great figure. Great detail and great head sculpt. Great, you know, everything about it. Um, so, yeah, that's great. <laughs> um, so we'll take a look at the packaging first. And a South Fang again comes in the clamshell NECA packaging. As you can see, Series 1 from At Worlds and got South Fang name tag with sword, sheet, and bad house base. That are the accessories. Does not have a lot of accessories, but it's fine for him. Uh, you got Series 1, Captain Jack Sparrow, South Fang, Pindle, and Rigetti, or Rigetti, whatever. Uh, and then you can see a nice picture of the figure. But that's it for the packaging, real nice. We'll take a look at the accessories first. First accessory, the Bat House base. Uh, there's lots of detailing on this one, but it's not as detailed as as the um, first movie line. They had bases from the uh, Il de Muerta, I believe, the, uh, the where the treasure chest is. That were great bases. I love those bases. These ones are just regular bases, nothing too special, and I don't use it because you can stand on its own perfectly fine. But uh, that's a base. Then he has the holster for his sword. There's a lot of detail on here, but you probably can't see it because it's, you know, it's very dark. Um, it's a dark kind of thing. But there we go. You got that. And then of course his sword, which he's holding in his hand, katana blade. Um, really good sword. Um, and I'm, I hope not to break it because these Pirates of the Caribbean figures always come with swords that break. In a minute, I mean, they're just so easy to break, but oh well. Um, so that's it for accessories. And uh, sculpt-wise, detail-wise, it's a great figure. Let's just take a look at the head sculpt here. That's a great head sculpt, I think. It's uh, almost perfect, uh, almost perfectly captures the look of the actor who plays Southang. That is Yoon Fat Chow. Um, yeah, amazing head sculpt. You got the three uh you know the mustache and the beard kind of thing but not sure if you can see that because you know there we go uh then you got on the side the tattoo from the dragon or so uh very nice detail and uh, awesome scars and then on the other side of the face more scars amazing head sculpt uh really love this head sculpt uh then you get them down you get this nice kind of rope with um i don't know what it is a color piece um, with some Chinese or Japanese markings or you know decoration something like that which looks really good coming down you got a nice belt <clears throat> as you can see uh, looks like it has some diamonds in it on the back it also has that you can see that <clears throat> so there you go some detail on the back and then coming down on the rope is um, Chinese markings here for example, stuff like that. Uh, it looks good. I really like it. Um, so you got that. Um, and articulation wise, this is a great figure from the Pirates of the Caribbean line. Does have a ball joint head. He has a ball jointed shoulder on this side for the uh, sword and hand and what arm. Uh, he doesn't have a ball joint on this side. He, he, he has no articulation in this shoulder. I don't know why, but. Um, he has a forearm that kind of swivels or hinges, as you can see, it goes up and down. Uh, and this is also an accessory, well, accessory, which is a non-removable accessory, which is kind of a, a bike or small sword or uh, knife, whatever. 
uh, very nicely put in his hand. And there's some real nice detail on, on the fingernails. Just saw that. It's great. Um, so you got that. Uh, and then, most surprisingly, point of articulation is a ball jointed torso, which he has. You can basically move this around in any way possible, which that is great uh, to pose him. So that's really good. Uh, and then coming down to the feet, and he only has swivel feet, nothing special there. But, um, yeah, all in all, it's a great figure. Great NECA figure, and I uh, really love this one, so I'm really happy that I picked it up anyway. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll be back with some more NECA Pirates of the Caribbean figure reviews. And uh, until then, keep collecting, and bye.